What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about long exposure. So what is long exposure? We've talked about it previously on the video regarding shutter speed when we're saying to slow the shutter down and you're letting loads of light and loads of motion on your image and that's essentially a long exposure photo. As we stated before, generally if you're doing this you need to put the camera on a tripod like we have now so there's no shaking and no movement of the camera so your image will not be blurry or things like that. We've already discussed about using long exposure to capture water and make that silky smooth but there's also another different thing so if you're shooting at night time you can can, instead of using flash you can let in more light so if you're shooting the stars or shooting a landscape or something like that you can set the exposure time on your shutter speed to say 30 seconds not letting 30 seconds of light so if it's really really dark you should let in enough light for that image to be correctly exposed another one for using long exposure is you can actually light paint with it so if you set your camera up for 30 seconds or even a minute or two minutes or something like that depending on how dark the environment is what you can do is if you shine a light into the lens that's going to capture all of that light on the sensor so so you can actually draw your name or you can actually paint something so if you've got a taking a photograph of a car and the car's in darkness what you can do is you can get a light you can go all the way around the car and wherever the light hits on the car that will light it up and that will capture that on the sensor so when you see the final image that car is going to be lit up so we used to do it back in the day so you set the camera up like this you get a torch shining in the lens so you can write your name or you can draw different things like that and then you get your image from that or you can take it one step further and you can get different patterns and loads of things like that i've also seen some light paint done with the bike tire put some lights on it and when you spin it it actually captures all that movement and it creates light spheres and they just look absolutely amazing when you're using long exposure you can get really really creative and get some really fantastic images mm -hmm. 